And what will we be having today, sir? Well, we'll have a look at the menu, shall we? Everything. No, no, we do not carry pizzas here. No, we don't do any of that. Is it one the trio or something? He wants the nano meal. We gotta go catch a plane, guys. Gotta get some stuff. Let's go. Pesto? Pine nuts? This works. We got it. So I've been fishing for a while and all, all I can catch is seaweed. But it's a protist, so I guess we can use it. I got something! Oh my goodness! It's an invertebrate! Call me the beautiful mushroom, because I'm a pretty fun guy. Hey. <laughs> Why is vertebrate checked off? We're off to a good start, but we're gonna need meat. Yeah, we're gonna get the meat. Hey guys, look at this catacomb. That was a pretty good idea. Now we got it. Tired of this project. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me beer. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtlenecks nice. and a beer. So everybody knows that lettuce grows in very rocky areas. Finally, lettuce leaf. Guys, what are we going to do for the bacteria? That's genius! Right? So we're going to start by cooking our calamari. Uh, the first thing you want to do is un is unfreeze it, uh, thaw it, by putting it in a colander and running it under water. Calamari is the squid, particularly the tentacles of it, which uh, allow the squid to move around in the water and explore its environment. Be sure to use cold water. So now we're going to take care of the garlic. Did 
Take really good care of it. So after heating our pan, we add about a tablespoon of oil. We're going to start with about half of our calamari. Once your squid begins to cook, you're going to lower the heat and add some pepper. And don't be shy with your pepper. And then you're going to add salt. Uh, garlic is, comes from a bulbous plant and is known to repel moles, rabbits, and vampires. So be careful not to overcook your squid because it'll get rubbery and that's not pleasant to eat. So, I'm going to put some pepper on our steak. What I'm using here is actually the fruit of the plant. When dried, the fruit's known as the black peppercorn. We're also going to add a little bit of Himalayan pink salt on our steak. Salt is used to keep the juices in the steak. This salt has been known to contain archaea. Time for the steak. We're going to cook it at medium high, so most ovens, five to six. I'm going to start by adding a little bit of oil. I'm going to drop the steak in. So this specific cut of steak is called the flat iron from a Bostoro species of, of bovine, right? The flat iron is a cut of steak that comes right from right above the shoulder blade. So in the cow, it's used for walking because, you know, cows walk on their hats. Set your timer. Four minutes. That's a steak. Four minutes is up, so we can flip it to the second side. So, steak's ready. How do I know? Use the uh, palm method. Grip your middle finger, press on, and you're going to feel the firmness of your thumb muscle right here. So you can compare it to the firmness here. They're about the same for me. Very subjective. Drop it on your plate. You're good to go. You got a steak. All right, so now we got our portobello mushrooms. So the first step is you admire the beauty of these Costco mushrooms. Um, okay, so we're gonna take each portobello mushroom and you're gonna to want to uh, wash them thoroughly. So uh, portobello mushrooms, they're um, usually found uh, worldwide in grassy areas. Um, usually between uh, spring and fall, and usually you'll find them where manure is. So I'm just using this uh, little tool here to uh, move around the oil. Alright, so uh, we can add the mushrooms we have here. Okay, so I also have some basil pesto. Basil is the one of the main ingredients in here. It's also known as the royal herb. Okay, so uh, we're gonna apply the pesto um, generously to the insides of the portobello mushroom. All right, so what I have here, I preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so um, we open up the oven. We um, add the portobello mushroom uh, to the middle rack. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes, uh, portobello mushrooms are done. So uh, here we go. Oh, look at those babies. You know, one of my favorite things about pesto is that it contains cheese. And in the proper creation of cheese, you need to have lactic acid bacteria, because that transforms simple carbohydrates into lactic acid, which makes cheese cheese. Next we'll be presenting our roasted seasoned seaweed sheets. Fun fact about seaweed, it's a red algae, and it's green. So lettuce was first cultivated by the ancient Egyptians, who turned it to, from a weed that was used to produce oil from its seeds. We're going to use lettuce because it's nice for plating. Calamari is a dish that can be served hot or cold, but it's best served with lemon. Fun lemon 
lemons are always fun. Is the food ready? You've made us wait all day, you darn customer. We're eating without you. The brewing yeast found in beer actually completes the long, slow fermentation, or super attenuation, of beer. On top of that, we also find hops in beer. Hops are actually the flowers of the plant Humulus lupulus. It's used as primarily a flavoring and stability agent in beer. Barley, another ingredient found in beer, is used as a source of fermentable material for beer and other distilled beverages. It's also a staple food of the Roman uh, gladiator's diet. You know, by the looks of this restaurant, I thought that um, they would treat their patrons with a lot more respect than they do, but, you know, it's short-staffed and probably money's tight, but still does not excuse the fact that they help themselves to my order. See, I've been to many restaurants in my lifetime, and this clearly has to be the worst one I've been to so far. I mean, just, just look at them here. I mean, they, they, don't, they don't even have my plate for me. Like, what, what, what kind of establishment is this? It's like a buffet from them, but they take, they take suggestions from me. Like, that's not how you run a proper business. Hi there. We've had a lot of fun today, but drinking and driving is no laughing matter. That's why I won't be drinking today. Isn't that right, Mr. Wattlesworth? 